Angie's Angie's Craft Corner. Today we are going to do this card with music notes and a uh, floral stamp and then a stamp from May May. Dot com. We're going to use Stays On Ink. We are using the a stamp for the music notes. I'm using this floral stamp and I don't know where this came from. I'm using this sentiment from May May Made It. I'm using a light blue and a light green and my white card stock and my a Marie, my Marie, a, a Marie, because my I don't have a stamp block as big as I need it for the music stamp. I got this stamp right before we went on vacation, and I played with it while we was on vacation. So, now I'm going to use Stays On Ink. As you can tell, it's already been Stays On. And this stamp came from Wish.com. I don't remember how much it, I don't know how much it is, but I know it's cheaper on Wish in a lot of places. And this is like the Misty and the other one stamping tools and I'm just rubbing it like this to make sure it stamps good and it's not I'm not sure why this one's be a pain in my butt today but we're gonna re-ink it and do this again Okay, that's fine. We'll just flip it up. No, we won't. We're just getting a sheet of crap to talk. Well, that ain't what I need. Look at that stamping. Okay, I'm pushing down really hard now. Ah, there we have it. Okay. And I've been using this baby wipe all morning. Although, it stays on, it's going to stay on. I mean, I'm going to just move this out of my way. Move this back in my way. I'm, I'm grabbing the paper trimmer. And I'm going to cut this down to four and five 
corners. Okay, and then I'm taking the green and make it doing this five and a half. And these sheets that I'm using is six by six. I cut up a twelve by twelve pack. I made them all six by six because I'm just that way. Uh, need a piece of scrap. Because I'm going to go ahead and uh, stamp my sentiment while I'm cutting, while I'm not having to go back. Now I'm going to cut, trim this out and I'm not using measurements. I'm just cutting it close. I mean, close, close, close. Okay, to do the new, this next point, point uh, I am going to glue this onto this with the art glitter glue. And then I'm just going to make a border on it with the light blue. Then I'm taking this about three and a quarter inches to make my little banner. go out of my way and I'm taking my pair of scissors and I'm just gonna snip the like in the center of this and then go up and cut okay let's assemble all of this that pen's sticking me this morning yes y'all I have more Art glue. I just ain't got it in the bottom. And I went to crop Saturday after coming home from vacation, so I have I've got everything in here. I just don't have it all put up. If y'all seen my desk, y'all would think, Lord, how do y'all how do you ever do anything? Well, I'm kind of asking myself that question today. And see how I've kind of off-centered this because I didn't make it a long one. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to add my sentiment. And I've done this all wrong. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Well, 
go back and do this. I want it just don't look right. Okay. Now we're going to stamp the flower. And do it. <laughs> that should have already been dead. Does anybody else do this mess? I mean, I'm, I, I, I'm not good at recreating my creations. If y'all ain't figured that out yet. Um, I just go with the flow and whatever looks good to me goes. Okay, I'm using Stay Zone again. <coughs> I'm looking at this. Don't look right. It's okay. It's a... Uh, it's not a Monday, but it sure feels like it. Okay. I am going to use my Spectre Normals. And I think I'm going to use an orange one and a CG4 with leaves. And I'm just going to color this in quickly. That's one thing I do like about the Spectre Normals. They blend so good. Now, on the one that I took on vacation, I used a uh, laser markers. And I like how they blend, too. I mean, they just come about as close for watercolor markers. They come pretty close to my Spectre Normals. To me. I'm still playing with them. I got a set in my crop box. That I take with me to crops. And that's. And then I got a set that I play with at home. At, in the craft room. And yes. I do have a box. Of stuff that is ready to go. At any given time. I just need to really organize it. And get it down. And I may do that. This week. Because I got a crop coming up next week I have about two to three crops a month that I go to so And if you hear, hear a buzzing, it's my husband trying to spray paint some shelves for me. And I'm sorry to get in here. Okay, I'm going to grab the trim. I'm going to trim this in the orange. Spectrum. 
Now I'm just going to trim the edges to make it look like it's got a border. I do this so much. Some people don't understand. For one thing, if you mail these, it saves on shipping. Because it's not layered. But it looks layered. And I did find out the other day that it costs a few embellishment them a lot. I never have paid. I just usually send them from my mailbox and they see it. And this is a half a sheet of eight and a half by eleven cut in half and then fold it in half to make a card base and I'm just going to put my art little glue on here and to make my envelope I'm going to use a, a, in a different tutorial another video I'm going to use the uh, fiscal gift board and there we have it and easy, simple card. I hope y'all enjoy this tutorial, this video. Hope you can use this, use this idea at some time. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to us. Hit the bell for notifications. We do go live every so often. And we'll see y'all next time. Have a blessed day. And visit us at www.angiescraftcorner.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Triddle, uh, Pinterest. You name it. We're on, we all on so, uh, social media. Anyways, we'll see y'all next time.